This will probably be the shortest segment of all of them of this series because what we're covering here is we're just covering the panel of Tone Studio. This is in the editor. This is where it happens. And going forward, I'm going to, uh, chapter by chapter, I'm going to go into detail of every one of these and cover that. So those videos might be quite a bit longer, but this one I'm just going to show you. This is just like using the panel on the amp, except you have a couple more features. Just right, right here. Choose it up and down. That's how you choose your amp on and off gain if you want to if you want to um, fine tune it you can do that and type type it in there same thing on all of them see how it gives you that option or you can just click and drag what you want uh, you choose your boosters just like you do on the amp you turn it amp on green red yellow green red yellow and you can see it down here cycling through the defaults blues driver overdrive distortion same thing with mod, green, chorus, phaser, flanger, and so on and so forth. Till you get here, you got cab resonance. You can choose a vintage cab. I covered what those vintage cabs did in, uh, did I cover those in the basics? I did because we recovered the artist too. So you got vintage, modern, and deep. And you got your presence, you turn your presence up and down. Solo, you turn your solo on and off and the volume of it. And over here, uh, I covered that in the last, the global EQ. I showed you how you can make adjustments in that. And you can turn them on off here. Blue, or I'm blue. I don't even, there's no blue in here. Green, red, and yellow. And down here, you got your contour. Now, if you go down here, you'll see the contour. It changes as it goes. And you can make adjustments to it. The frequency shift of each contour. Let's set it at zero. And that's pretty much it for the panel. Next, we're going to dive a little deeper, and we're going to go and do effects and chain. <laughs> 